Hello everyone, this is Mar Haddad here. In this first lab, I'm going to show you how you can block Facebook and Twitter from your network. That means that all traffic which are going to Facebook and Twitter from your network, then it's going to be blocked and then users are not able to open Facebook or Twitter social medias from your network. So as you can see here, we have 11 points to do. But before I start doing the points, let me just show you briefly what is the scenario that we are going to work on. So here, as you can see, our network scenario, we have a MicroTik router here connected to the internet. So that means that the router is now connected to the internet without any problem. And what I need to do now, I need to um, connect my computer to uh, the uh, router, which actually it is already connected, and then it should get internet from the router. Then this PC will be also on the internet. So in this case, when you are connected to the MicroTik router and if you don't have any filtering and also if you don't have any filtering from your ISP, then you are able to go to any website or any application that you want. But in my case, what I need to do, I want to block the users which are in my network. So in my case, it is my PC here. I want to block it to not be able to go to Facebook and Twitter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to the MicroTik router here and I will make what we call an address list. And I put in this address list all IP addresses of Facebook and all IP addresses of Twitter servers. So the address list is nothing more than like a way to classify all the IP addresses. And then I say that anyone who is coming from my internal network to the internet, so via my router, and going to the Facebook or Twitter, then in this case, it will check against this address list, and it will check for every single uh, address here. If it's matching, then in this case, I say to the router, deny. Okay, that means that do not allow the packet to go from the router to Facebook or to Twitter server okay so you are going to drop it and then in this case the router will disallow the users to go to facebook and to twitter so this is what i'm going to do in this lab let's now go back to the points and we start doing them one by one point number one go to https slash slash bgp.he.net and search for facebook so what does it mean actually what i'm going to do i'm going to take all the IP addresses of server, which are for Facebook and later for Twitter, and I'm going to put them inside an address list, like I already said. So whenever someone is trying to go to Facebook, it will check this address list. And if there is any IP of the Facebook IP addresses or servers is mentioned there, then if it's matched, then it will drop it. I will create a rule for filtering to drop the package which is going to Facebook. So how can we get all the IP addresses from Facebook? Actually, you need to go to uh, the browser and then you have to go to this website, httpsbgp.he.net. I highly advise you that you go to Google Chrome because when we want to paste now to the Excel sheet, if you are using any other browser, it may make problems for you. And I will show you why you need to do that. But uh, let's now go to the browser, https slash slash bgp.he.net. So this is the browser that we need to go to. And then here on the search, I write Facebook. Okay. So when you write Facebook, you can get all the IP addresses there of Facebook servers that are available on the internet. All right. So what you need to do now, we have to select them and paste them. But let's first go back to the points. Point number one is done. Point number two, we have to copy the result that we have seen from the website and paste them as Unicode format to an Excel sheet. So I have already here opened an Excel sheet. So this is my Excel sheet. And um, I need to go to go first to the, here we go to the uh, page of uh, bgp.he.net. And then I will select all this. Okay. So let's go from here. I will select, uh, we start from uh, this level. So we'll go down and then you have to select everything here. So, uh, and then we need to copy uh, that and uh, paste it inside the, an Excel sheet. So let's do that. I will copy it now. Everything is copied and I'm still using the Google Chrome uh, browser. And then I will copy. So control C, I will go to the Excel sheet. And then here, what you need to do, you have to go to B and not to A because I'm going to use A in a moment and I'll show you why. And then I will have to go to paste special and then you select Unicode text. And then I will say, okay, and okay. Then you can see everything is pasted here and uh, let's uh, make it this way. And then what I need to do now, I will clean everything and then I will keep only the IP addresses of Facebook. Point number two is done. Point number three, keep only the IP version four 
column. So that means I need to delete all the other columns that I have and also the IP version 6. Okay, so let's do that. I will go to the Excel sheet. First, this one I have to let's see to delete it. So everything is deleted here. I will clean it. So these are the autonomous system here. I will take them out, delete. And then these are IP version 4. Here started the IP version 6. So I will select everything which is IP version 6. So to this level here, that is IP version 6. And then I will delete them. And then the rest will be all IP version 4. Okay. So this is what I still have as a, a list of IP addresses from Facebook. So point number three is done. Point number four, do the same for Twitter. So we also need to do the same for Twitter. I will go first to here and I will mention this sheet. I will name it Facebook. Okay, I will create another one and uh, I will name it here Twitter. And then I will go back to the website and uh, on the browser here, I have to go up and then I'll have to search this time for Twitter. So let's move up. And then here I will search for Twitter. And then again, I will select everything here for Twitter. So all this uh, IP addresses that I'm going to use now to be blocked. So no one can go to Facebook or to Twitter again. And we go now to this uh, sheet for Twitter to be, I paste special as Unicode text. And then I'll say, okay, and I will delete this one. And let's see if we have any IP version six also, we take it out. So this one is deleted. And then we check here, here started the IP version six. And then we only have those three. I delete them and then let's check down. And this is the list of Twitter. Point number four is done. Point number five, log to Winbox, go to the terminal and create an address list, name it Facebook without an address and copy it. Do the same for Twitter. So what we need now to do, we have to create the address list. That means the classification of the IP addresses for Facebook and for Twitter. So now I will go here to Winbox. So this is Winbox. I will uh, go to uh, my main router. So this one is the one connected to the internet where I have to make my filtering. So I'll put the password. Okay, I will go to the terminal. And uh, what I need to do here, I have to write, actually, I want to show you what I'm doing here because actually we need to create the address list and the address list is inside IP firewall. And you can see it over here. So. Normally, if you want to make it manually, you can make plus, and then here you can name this one, for example, Facebook. And then for every IP that I have in my list, you have to paste it here, and then you have to do it one by one. So if I go here to Facebook, so what I need to do, I have to take this one, copy it, and then I will go here and I will put it here. Then I will create another one also, Facebook, the same name should have, so Facebook. And then I will go to here to the second one, copy it and paste it here and so forth. And this takes a lot of time for us to do it. So I'm doing a very fast way to, uh, to not uh, make this manually. So we go to the terminal here and here I have to say IP firewall address list and question mark here. And here I have to say add and then I will add a list and we name it Facebook. Okay. And question mark then address equal and then that's it i don't continue the command so i just need to copy this one so i'm saying that i want to create an in firewall an address list we name it facebook which have an address and that's it so i will copy this one now i'll go to the excel sheet for facebook i will paste it here on the column of a okay so we paste it here and then i will make it bigger all right so what i need now to do Actually, this needs to be on the first uh, one. So I will make it here and put it here. Okay. So what I need to do, I just have to let this command go down to the last IP address. So to here. So you can see I have now a list of um, a command that I'm doing for all those. That means that every IP you, you see here, every network, it's now going to be inside the addresses called Facebook. Then, when I, then that's what I need to do for Facebook. I will do the same for Twitter. 
So I will go here and I will paste the same one. So let's uh, do that. I will copy this from here. Copy. And then I will go to Twitter. And then I will make paste. But here I just want to change the address list name. I want to be Twitter. Okay, so uh, we make here the address list gonna be Twitter. Okay, and then I will make it like this to the whole IP addresses that I have for Twitter. All right, so this is what you need to do. Point number five is done. Point number six, add the copied comment to the Excel sheet for Facebook and Twitter. Also, we have done that. Now, we need to have an application called Notepad++ and paste uh, the Facebook content to it because this content needs to be pasted inside the Microtech terminal. Then if it's you copy it from the Excel sheet and you paste it, it doesn't work. So you need to have an application which can do that for you. And there is an application called Notepad++. So if we go here and uh, we can search, for example, for Notepad++ download. Okay, and then you can see it, it's here, Notepad++, download, and then you click on it, you just download it, okay, you download it and you install it. I have already done that, so it's just a very simple uh, application, it's for free, you can download it and install it, and uh, now I have the Notepad++ open here. Okay, so this is the first one. So what I need to do now, I have to go to the Excel sheet and then I will go to Facebook. And then I will copy everything here. So all these contents, I copy them. You see, I'm copying this one. And then I will go to the Notepad++ and I paste it here. So now it looks really like a comment or comments that I need to put them on my router. Okay, so then this is uh, done. And uh, they ask us here uh, to paste the content of uh, Facebook and also to copy the Notepad content and paste it to my router. So it's already now pasted here. I will copy everything from Notepad++. I will go to the Microtech router. I will delete this one. And then from the terminal here, I will just right click paste. And that's it. Now what happens that uh, these comments are now added to the Microtech router and we can see here, if we go to IP firewall, we can see that inside the address list there is an address is called Facebook having all those IP addresses already added. You can see them here. Point seven is done. We have the Notepad++ and we paste the Facebook content to it and then we add them to the terminal. We have to do the same for Twitter. All right, so I will go now to the Excel sheet and then to Twitter. Then I will copy everything. So let's do it from here. I will copy all those IP addresses. Let's check if it's copied everything, yeah. Then I will copy that. So it's selected and copied. Now we go to the Notepad++. I will create a new one. And then paste them. And then I will copy those. So I select and copy. And then I will go to the Microtech router, to new terminal, and then I paste them. So that's much faster than if you want to add them one by one. Okay. Now if I go to the address list, we have now the Facebook one and down we have Twitter. Okay. And if you want from here, you can also sort out. You can say, I want just to see Facebook. Then it shows for you Facebook and you want to see only Twitter. Then it shows you only Twitter. Point number nine is done. Now we need to do the firewall and this firewall is going to be to drop any packet going to Facebook or to Twitter on the address list that we have available. So we have to go to IP firewall, create a rule to drop all Facebook traffic and check if it works and we have to repeat the same for Twitter. Before I do that, I just want to open the browser and uh, here on the browser, I want to show you that at this moment, if I go to Facebook, it is Facebook, it is working. And if I go to Twitter, it is working. Okay, so now we need to do the firewalling. I'll go to Winbox and then from here, I'll go to IP, firewall and then we create a rule okay and this rule is gonna be here forward so forward means for all traffic going to the internet via the router so i would say forward for any source address then we go to advance and then the destination address 
is Facebook. So destination address list, that means any, any traffic going to the address list that we have created, then the action is to drop. Okay, and here you can put a comment block Facebook. Okay, so again, I can repeat here. We can say here that the, for the chain of forward, that means any traffic going via the router to the internet from any source coming, okay, which is trying to go to any of the IP addresses of uh, the addresses, which is Facebook, then the action is to drop them. And uh, I will say, okay. All right. And let's check now if Facebook is going open again. So I will create now facebook.com. I write here facebook.com and we can see that it's not opening. And then if we go here, we can see that there is a traffic passing because the filter now is blocking all the traffic for Facebook. You can see here the bytes are increasing. So let's do the same also for Twitter. And then we go also, we create a filter rule. And from here, I have to say again, forward address destination address twitter the action is to drop and that's it now if we do we see that facebook is not opening and if we try twitter now twitter.com and uh, we check now also on the filtering so this one is for twitter actually you can see that uh, the bytes are increasing and uh, we will check in a moment that Twitter also will not work. Also, this will not work as well on your phone. If you have smartphone or tablet, also this is gonna be blocked completely. Okay, while if you open, for example, youtube.com, then it is working, okay? Because there is no any filtering for that. If you open uh, linkedin.com, it is still working, all right? So this way is the best way I can show you how you can block Facebook and uh, Twitter from uh, your network because when you trace all the IP addresses and put them in an address list, then any packet going to those IP addresses is going to be blocked. Point number 10 is done. We have created the firewall rule and we dropped all Facebook traffic and when we have checked that it's not working. Then uh, point number 11 also, we have done the same for Twitter and we have checked that it's not working when we create the filter rule. So this is the best way again to show you how you can drop the traffic for Facebook and Twitter from your network, whether you are doing that at your home or you want to do it at your company. This is the most efficient way to block Facebook and to block Twitter on MicroTech using the address list and then you create the filtering rule to block all traffic going to the list of the address list that you have already created them inside address list. So this is what I wanted to show you in this lab. I hope that this lab was informative for you and I will see you in the upcoming lecture.